Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack, and this is yet another video tutorial of using Photoshop Elements. Now, right now I'm using Photoshop Elements 9, but this tutorial will also work with version 6, 7, and 8. Absolutely fine. I don't see any problems with it whatsoever. Now, this video tutorial came to me, as you can see here, uh, from our forums. We have uh, the forums here, Jack's Tech Corner. If you're not yet a member of the forums, it's a great place for you to throw ideas up there to me and uh, give me some different topics that you might want to learn about. It's also a great place where you'll post questions and other folks will actually answer them for you. So it's a great place, a great meeting place for other Elements users and Windows users and so forth. So all it says right here, and this is from Peggy D. Peggy D, thank you very much for this question. I want to take a pie sliced shape out of a picture, put it on another blank page, and duplicate it enough times that it appears as a pie. Think kaleidoscope. Now, if you remember those kaleidoscope or kaleidoscopes, you would look through it and you would turn the thing and it would make all the different shapes in there. So we're kind of going to try to duplicate that. Is there a way to do that? She goes on to say she has two of my uh, videos, or the DVDs, I guess, uh, but it isn't covered. And that's true. Up to this point, I never really thought about it until Peggy D was nice enough to send us this uh, message and ask us. So let me go ahead and show you. Instead of duplicating it uh, many, many times, I'm going to show you an easier way to do it that I found that works pretty well. So let's go ahead and start the video tutorial. Here's some pictures I took over the weekend. In my uh, actually an iPhoto, or they could be in your organizer if you're using Windows, that's absolutely fine. We're gonna go ahead and open this one up uh, in my external editor, which is Elements. So here we have it opened up in Elements. Now, what we're going to do here to start this tutorial is first, as always, you have to duplicate the background image. And you know, on the Mac, it's Command J where on the PC it's Control J. So here we have layer one that we have it duplicated. What we're going to do first of all is use our cookie cutter and I pulled my shapes down and instead of duplicating this into pie shapes, which I tried that and it's very clumsy, it's going to take you a lot of extra steps that I don't think you really need. What we're going to do is go down here and find the oval shape. The black shape is what you want because remember Black, if you paint with black, it reveals everything underneath. And if you paint with white, it hides everything underneath. So this is basically all we're doing with the shape. It's just that it's easier to work with than painting it. So I selected that. I'm going to go here. I want these bubbles. I want this center. So I'm going to start up here, and I'm just going to draw a circle. Just like this. Once we have that circle, we'll click the little check marks in the bottom. And we'll turn off the indicator for the visibility layer on that background layer. Now we have our pie shape. Very simplistic. It was very easy to do. A couple mouse clicks. We have a pie. We didn't really have to duplicate each individual pie shape layer. But we'll get there also. Let's go move that. So we'll use the move tool up here. And we're going to center this up just a little bit. Just like that. Now let's click on that background layer, I mean that layer one again. Um, and you can even take this and rename this. Just double click in there. Let's rename that working. Now we know that's our working layer. We're going to click on there and stay on there. Now that we're ready to do that, we're ready to go ahead and transform the picture into that kaleidoscope type of a image. So what I found to do is there was a couple I played with, um, but the one I thought worked pretty well is the artistic, the art, artistic, and cutout. So click on that, and it's going to open it like this. It gives it that almost like that cartoon thing, but I kind of feel like when I looked through those as a kid, how there was different shapes and pieces in there. This kind of duplicates that. Very simplistic and it made it very easily for us. So it does, and you can play with the number of levels and the edge uh, simplistic, simp 
simplistic here. Simple uh, there. Just change that around. And the number of levels, we can change that around a little bit. So you can play with that and make it look like. So the picture, the underlying picture is staying pretty good. We can still see what it is. You can see some leaves up in here. But if we want to lower this down a little bit, we can do that. And we'll lower this one down a little bit, the edges. If you want to see even more of it. Now you can see how those bubbles are actually coming back through. So we can actually see more of what the picture is. So this is going to be a kind of to your taste type of a deal. You know, whatever you think looks good. Pull it up to five and click OK. Now that we have the look and the feel of the picture that we want, we're going to start now. We need our pie slices. So we have a bevel selected here. This bevel selected right here. We're going to start down here with our line tool. Now, if you don't see your line tool in your menu, right click on this and you'll see all the different tools in here. Choose your line tool. Go to a corner of the picture, click and drag to the other corner. Now you can see here with the bevel selected, we have a little FX on here, right? And that indicates the layer styles. If you double click that, you can always play with that. You can uh, change that level style. You can make it bigger, smaller. We can make it up or down. We're going to make this one up. You can play with that back and forth. Let's lower this back down a little bit. Three or four seem to work pretty good for me. But like I said, again, you can play around with that. Now we're just going to go ahead, and the line tool is still selected here. We're just going to go ahead and go to the other side and draw another line through here. Come to the top. Intersect everything right in the middle. You can pull these left and right with your mouse to get a nice, crisp, intersecting line right here. Do it again. And you can cut this as many times as you want. Just go in between your other slices, just like you would a pie. You can cut it there. Man, there. And as you can see now, you're getting that shape. Uh, how everything's all chopped up here. Right in the middle. Right there. And then we'll try to go between these top two. right there so the only thing we end up with instead of a bunch of duplicated pieces or pie slices we end up with a bunch of duplicated just lines just the lines going all the different ways then all you have to do is come up and say file we would do a save as at that point and we would save it naturally as a JPEG so we can have that printed off and you would give it a name and save it to where you would like to save it so that is how you would actually take a picture, turn it into a pie, make pie shapes, and make it look like a kaleidoscope, is what that's called, kaleidoscope. Uh, just, and if you see any of these, you can still find these in the retail stores, pick one up and look through it, and you'll notice when you turn it, how you can turn it and get these different kind of shapes. So Peggy D, that was a great question. If you've enjoyed this video tutorial, please remember to uh, stop by my website here, jackstechcorner.com, and check out all the great DVD collections, because that's where Peggy D actually started working with some of her uh, photos is off of my DVD collection. Uh, she obviously picked up the two-disc set. If you click this pull down at the top, you have a lot of different choices here, folks, of what you may want to pick up. Uh, absolute best value, as always, is the three-volume set, uh, but please pick that up today. And we talked about the forms, the web forms here. If you want to sign up for that, just on the web page, click on our forms under the menu, and you're good to go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed these uh, video tutorials up to this point. I can say at this point we're over 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. You know, that's a milestone. I never thought that we would have that many people coming by, 
subscribing to these videos and sticking around with me. I really appreciate it and I'm very much, uh, very humbled. I tell my wife all the time, you know, when I started these videos some time back, I said, boy, if I could just get 50 people to subscribe, it'd be fun to do. Well, now we have over 5,000 of you out there, 5,000 strong watching these videos. Um, email me and let me know what you like about the videos. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if you've been watching the uh, Windows tutorials. There is some Windows Server tutorials on here, Photoshop Elements. I think now I'm kind of getting the feeling that most of you are here for the Photoshop Elements, and that's absolutely great. Uh, that's where I started, and I love doing them for you. So remember, until next time, keep those shutters clicking, keep those editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon on Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.